Ukitel, the company known for their smartphones, has finally dipped their toes into the smartwatch game with the BT10. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Urkitel BT10. We'll explore its ruggedized design, check its port and health measurement accuracy and check its battery life, which promises to outlast your weekend's escapade. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech goodness. But before we delve into the smartwatch itself, let's take a quick look at what comes in the box. Inside the box, we'll find an instruction manual, the watch itself with detachable straps that we'll attach in a sec, and a magnetic charging cable. So before we dive into design, let's get these rubber straps attached. Now they're not the soft test, but hey, it's a rugged watch, so it's cool. And of course you can swap them out for any 22mm straps you want for more refined look. It's up to you. The watch sports a sleek and rugged circular design that appeals to both men and women seeking a stylish yet durable smartwatch. The plastic frame gives it a less premium feel and hand, but its overall aesthetic resembles more expensive watches like the Amazfit T-Rex Ultra. However, it lacks the refined look of the TicWatch Pro 5. Measuring 48 mm and weighing around 50 grams, the watch feels comfortable and lightweight on the wrists. Two physical buttons on the right side of the case control power and navigation. Additionally, there's a speaker hole and a microphone hole on the side of the watches for taking phone calls. The rear of the watch houses the heart rate sensor and a magnetic contact pins for charging. Notably, wireless charging is absent, which is becoming a standard feature in many smartwatches. One ATM water resistance, meaning it can withstand splashes, rain, even shallow swimming. However, I wouldn't recommend scuba diving or strenuous water activities. By the way, the watch is available in black and orange. The BT10 features a large 1.43 inch AMOLED touchscreen with a resolution of 466 by 466 pixels, delivering vivid colors and crisp details. It also supports an always on display mode for quick glanceability. The AMOLED display is fab, but it's also a bit of a fingerprint magnet. I can see every smudge on the screen, which is a bit of pain. It's not a deal breaker, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. The user interface is a bit quirky. The quick control menu is accessible by swiping up. However, the main menu is accessed by pressing the lower button, which is a bit strange. It took me a day to get used to it, but it's not a deal breaker. The menu is customizable with a variety of different layouts to choose from. I prefer the standard list view, but there are also options for a honeycomb layout, a grid view and a variety of other options. There's also a quick menu when you swipe the screen that provides quick access to frequently used features as well as voice assistant button. Currently it's nine and partly cloudy. Swiping left brings up the daily activity screen, sleep tracking, heart rate and blood pressure tracking, SpO2 tracking and weather info. So we have continuous rate monitoring and I'm curious to see how accurate the heart rate and the SpO2 measurements are. The watch keeps giving me the message wear watch properly and try again. I tried everything but it wouldn't work. I cleaned the optical sensors but it still didn't work. I even tried another watch in the same class but it worked fine. So I decided to restart the watch and try again. There you go, the watch is working properly now. So a quick tip, if your watch keeps giving you a wear watch properly message, just restart it. Okay, let's test it now. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. In the first test, the watch was accurate in measuring my heart rate while I was relaxed with a reading of 70 BPM which matched the readings from the pulse oximeter. The SPO2 readings were also very close with both devices showing 98%. To make things more challenging, I did some press-ups to raise my heart rate. The watch initially indicated around 100 beats per minute, while the oximeter showed 102 BPM. After a few seconds, the readings on both devices stabilized at 97 BPM. This shows that the BT10 is very precise in measuring heart rate, even under exertion. 
The BT-10 also has a blood pressure monitoring capabilities which I was skeptical about due to the limitations of optical blood pressure estimation. However, when I compared the watch readings to those of a medical grade blood pressure cuff, I was pleasantly surprised. The watch readings were close to the cuff's readings, with a systolic reading of 130 and a diastolic reading of 87 mm of mercury. While I wouldn't recommend relying on the watch blood pressure readings for medical purposes, it can provide a general overview of your blood pressure trends over time. The sleep tracking feature also utilized the optical senses. I wore the watch to bed for about two weeks and had mixed results. Occasionally the watch didn't pick up my sleep at all. In some cases it only recorded a small portion of my sleep. But if I went to bed earlier it managed to record my entire night's sleep, including light sleep, awake time, REM and the restful sleep stages. All your health and fitness data is stored and managed by the DAF Fit app, which you'll need to install on your phone before using the watch. It's available on both iOS and Android, so it's compatible with your phone no matter what platform you're rocking. Once you've got the app installed and signed in, simply tap Add Device and select the BT10. The watch will pair with your phone automatically. You can use the watch standalone without the app, but you'll miss on some of its coolest features like real-time notifications, Bluetooth calls, weather updates and detailed health tracking. The app also tracks your GPS routes during exercises relying on your phone's GPS since the watch doesn't have built-in GPS. This clever workaround helps extend the watch's battery life. Equipped with over 100 sport modes, the BT10 caters to a wide range of fitness enthusiasts. Whether you are a runner, walker, cyclist or prefer more unconventional activities. To assess its step counting accuracy, I compared it to a traditional tally counter during a 1000 step test. All right, we've reached 1,000 steps. The tally counter says 1,000, but the watch is still lagging behind at 917. That's about a 9% discrepancy. Well, that's one test. Let's give it another shot to see if there's any consistency. This time, I'll try to vary my stride length and walking pace to simulate real life conditions. We're done with the second test. The tally counter says, 1025 and the watch is showing 990. That's a bit better but it's still not perfect. The accuracy for this test is around 96%. I'll need to do more extensive testing to get a more definite assessment but for now I would say it's just okay for casual use. The BT10 packs a bunch of handy features including Bluetooth phone calls, real-time message notifications and music app control. You can even use the voice assistant to control your watch. However, there are some limitations like the music player is not working while in sports mode. All the useful features include a stopwatch, countdown and a find phone feature. And for the ladies, there's even a menstrual cycle tracker built in. The watch has a massive 410 mAh lithium polymer battery that takes over an hour to charge fully. On the regular use, with the 24-7 heart rate monitoring enabled, you can expect to get up to 5 weeks of battery life. If you enable the always on display and all the fancy features, the battery life will drop to about 3 weeks. This is still a solid battery life and the BT10 outperforms many other smartwatches in this price range in this regard. I can fold the battery on this watch, it's easily one of its strongest points and if you activate the battery saver mode, the watch can even reach the manufacturer's promised 70 days of battery life on a single charge. And that's pretty impressive. So the Ukitel BT10 is a decent smartwatch with a great battery life, good display and a solid build quality. However, its sports tracking could be improved, which places it in the average category. At least it's one of the smartwatches that actually looks good. I hope Ukitel adds more professional looking watch faces, as the lack of options was a major drawback for me. Please Ukitel, do something about it. You can find the BT10 on Amazon worldwide for around 70 British pounds, 79 dollars US or 70 euros depending on your region. Check out the affiliate links in the video description for the best prices and promo deals. You can also scan the QR code on the screen to check it out on Amazon. As a disclosure, we received this watch for free from Ukitel, but we were under no obligation to make this review positive or negative. All the tests and opinions are my own, so you can trust that this is an honest assessment. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.